Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, on the weekend, you got your boy Shakur Stevenson, one of the top five pound for pound guys, but he ain't gonna get the credit for that. So put him in the top 10, top 15 pound for pound. You know, he got a little bit more to do. Shakur Stevenson, our team fighting, our team Haru Tanyanyan, right? It's hard to say the guy's name, but whatever. Uh, you know, let's see what kind of fight this is going to be. Now, when it comes to Shakur Stevenson, he's dealing with, you know, the BTBG syndrome. He's being told that his fighting style is not that good, right? <clears throat> and um, so, you know, he's being forced to just fight in the pocket. Stay there and let the guy hit you, right? So, you know, he's not, he's not the first guy. Right? Uh, no one likes Devin Haney's fighting style. No one likes Floyd Mayweather's fighting style. No one likes Andre Ward's fighting style. No one likes Deontay Wilder's fighting style. So what fighting style is it? You understand? Because this, every, I put everybody in there. Some people try to complain and say that uh, Terrence Crawford's fighting style ain't good. So I'm trying to figure out whose fighting style is what we try to be like. It's like, you know, let me just tell you something. In the NBA, they said about 25 years ago, the people in the stands don't like look like the people on the court. We got to do something about that. Hence, three-point shots only, and you can't defend them. Hence, the best player in the NBA don't even have to play defense no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> If you're going to be the best player in the NBA, damn it, you're going to have to be a top five NBA, uh, defensive player as well. It's both sides of the court, right? But if we just exclude that, there ain't no, you don't have to play a defense. Just if you're good in the offense, because now everybody can shoot three-point shots, which, damn it, call me up. I'll come shoot your eyes out. If I'm not, if it's un uncontested and you can't contest them, don't let me get started there. The point is, they make it easier and take away your attributes. We couldn't dunk when Wilt Chamberlain started dunking on everybody. Stop doing that, right? So what they're telling in boxing is brothers, just attributes, you're not getting hit. We don't come watch fights where you can't get hit back. We, that ain't what we're trying to watch. Stand your ass there and let somebody hit you. Then we call it a good style. So that's basically what this is all about. So Shakur Stevenson is awesome. He doesn't really run all that crap, the, 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 the boxing ring isn't big enough to run. Whoever's fighting you is supposed to be able to use footwork and cut off the damn ring. That's an art in boxing. That's a skill. That's something you can work on. So that's supposed to be in it. Just because people can't got, ain't got no footwork, feet, you know, then that's their issue. Stop telling people to stand there and get hit. That's a whole different sport. What is boxing? What is it? Everybody in here knows what boxing is. It's hit a dude and don't get hit back. And if people like Shakur Stevenson or Floyd Mayweather and people like that can do that, no matter how they implement it, an Andre Ward, then damn it, they're good. A Willie Pep or something, Salvador Sanchez, whoever, a Pernell Whitaker, if they're doing those kind of things, then that's awesome. I like to watch basketball with defense. I'd rather watch a game that's, you know, 85 to 90 than a game that's 140 to 145, wouldn't you? So defense counts. So Shakur and Stevenson, stop listening to these fools and handle your damn business. Doma Sports Talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.